Henley and McKenna Cole were born to Dubuque senior science teacher Keith Cole and his wife Katie at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics on February 18, 2020. Both girls weighed just over three pounds at birth. Henley and McKenna were part of a very rare and high-risk twin pregnancy known as monoamniotic monochorionic pregnancy. This is a type of pregnancy that occurs in only about 1% of twin pregnancies. A mono-mono pregnancy meant that the girls shared the same nutritional source, the placenta, and were also in the same gestational sac. This carries with it many different risks, the largest being cord entanglement and twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome, where one twin would get more nutrition from the placenta than the other. Success rates for mono-mono twins making it to birth are very small in the early stages, but after 24 weeks, it moves to a 75 to 80% success rate. Due to the high risk nature of her pregnancy, doctors require Katie to move to the University of Iowa hospitals on January 7th for daily monitoring. After over a month of daily monitoring, Katie pointed out some heart rate changes that she noticed in Henley. After doctors reviewed Katie's claims, she was rushed to the delivery room for an emergency C-section. It was discovered that Henley had a cord around her neck and the umbilical cords of both girls were tied in knots, cutting them off from their nutritional source. Doctors were able to free both girls from the cords and get them stable in the NICU. From there on, the girls thrived. They began to breathe on their own and were able to move to the NICU in Stead Family Children's Hospital fairly quickly. It was a tough month for the Cole family. Keith was at home in Dubuque with their two-year-old Chandler, and Katie was staying with the twins in Iowa City. Then restrictions were put in place due to the pandemic, and visitation became very limited, which meant that the family was separated longer than they had planned. The girls were finally cleared to come home on April 3rd, and they are now weighing close to eight pounds. Although they celebrated three months on May 18th, they were officially considered full term on May 1st. The anticipation and arrival of the twins was scary, especially knowing that Henley had a cord around her neck, but it made the Coles realize that their choice at the University of Iowa hospitals was the right one. They were lucky enough to get to have both girls survive a situation that wasn't guaranteed a high success rate. The Coles can't speak enough about how great their experience at the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital was. And while Chandler may not have been able to visit during the last bit of the twins journey, she too had been welcomed by all staff. Now the Coles can enjoy being home with all three of their girls.